All right, now we're going to dimension the sprocket. I'm not going to show you all of them. I'm just going to show you some of the ones that may be new or you may have forgotten. I know you know how to do radius. I know you had a diameter. I know you had to do linear. What we want to do is we want to do a couple. So one here, change it to dimension. One that I have that you probably, well, I know we haven't done yet, has been angular. Sells perfectly there. And I just repeat the process. Very good. Next would have my leader that's going to go in here. Multi-leader. Ortho off. That works. And this one I'm going to know, well, one, I want it to be aerial. I want it to match. There we go. Good. And this one has a 0 0.75375. And this one should be a mental center. There it is. Perfect. Right? And you just keep going. You keep doing your processes again. So you go through them. So I need to do a linear, for example, that one. And you just keep doing your dimensions. You may find that you want to move some stuff around. We can move stuff around as we need to, but you simply just keep going through the process and dimensioning. The main thing is if you dimension only over here in paper space, even though each one of these viewports has a different scale, you notice that your text and everything is coming out the way it's supposed to. And this is what we want. Okay, the scale for this one is a 1 to 4. You change it to the date completed, change it to your name. This one is Sprocket. And do a save as to your folder, Sprocket, export it as a PDF turn in. Just make sure you finish all your other dimensions because I didn't dimension them all. Oh, here's one. This one's one that's caused problems in the past. How do I dimension for the little radius part here? Because if I'm looking right here right now, I don't have it. Oh my, what do I do? Model space. Center. Radius. Right? Trim. There you go. Erase. Now I have that where I can see it and I can use it to dimension off of. That's all it takes. Remember, whatever you draw in model space, if you've used those viewports, they're linked, it's going to update automatically. Automatically updates in there. And you can technically, and you can go in and lock these viewports so they don't move around. Not something I'm really worried about right now. I'm teaching you how to do. Just know that you can do it. All right, so finish your dimensioning. Finish your text. Save as. Save it. Export it as a PDF. Turn it in. Congratulations. You did the sprocket. See, I told you you could.